custom audiences are very important when it comes to Facebook ads. I will not explain every type of custom audiences you can have on Facebook. I will just concentrate on something rather specific, um, custom audiences based on pixel events. So not every type of audience you can have. I will show you a bit how to, to create other types of custom audiences, but I will um, um, talk more about pixel events and custom audiences because with pixel events you can pinpoint, uh, you can create very, very specific custom audiences. Uh, for example, people that scroll your pages or uh, click on a particular link like an affiliate link or bought the product and so and so on. Um, why do you need custom audiences? I think it's pretty obvious. You can use them to retarget some of your uh, visitors, to exclude some of your website visitors if they already uh, did the, the, the action that you promote with your Facebook ads. And, and I think this is very, very important to find uh, new potential customers or clients using lookalikes and lookalikes are something super powerful that you should always consider. Now let's see how to create a few pixel events custom audiences. Okay, I'm uh, in my events manager. Uh, you, you can create custom audiences from here you can go here to create and there are various um, options create ad create custom audience create lookalike and uh, create custom conversion i will not use this um, shortcut because you can also open this menu and i already have them in my shortcuts list because i use them quite often but if they are not here you should simply scroll and uh, look for custom audiences somewhere in this list you click on 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 the link and you will get some a page that might look like this one uh, if you have no custom audiences if you already have some custom audiences they will be listed here so let's let's create uh, a custom audience okay so now you can see how many types of custom audiences you can have i mean this is a website and i'm going to use it uh, but you can create one from app activity customer list where you basically import um, an email list uh, offline activity is similar <clears throat> you can import a list that you have and all these uh, other custom audiences uh, are based on uh, interaction that happen on facebook or instagram so video lead form all of them are not related to your website but to facebook I will again create a website traffic custom audience and now these are the main thing that you will see uh, here you can select the pixel if you have more pixel pixels um, uh, related to this to your account you will be able to select them here and now you can select the event or the condition uh, for the custom audience for example, if I go with this default option, everybody that visited my website in the last 30, 30 days will be part of this audience. But this is too simple and I will not do this. I will do something else. Let's say you have, uh, let's say you have, hmm, nice. Huh. I wanted to show you uh, how to create a custom audience for your uh, clients if you have a um, uh, e-commerce website but unfortunately for this particular pixel I don't have a purchase event uh, fired so I have to go fire the event wait a little bit and then I will be able to create the custom audience for my clients if let's let's do this and maybe we are lucky so I will just buy something Okay. So now I have a purchase event fired. This purchase event will be uh, tracked by Facebook 
and after a while it, it can take a few minutes or maybe more I will be able to use that this event for custom audiences let's do a different custom audience let's say uh, people that uh, added something to cart so this is a very easy to, to, to see, to understand custom audience. Everybody that added a product to cart in the last 30 days will be part of this um, custom audience. But I have the option to refine the audience by uh, other conditions like parameters, like event parameters. Uh, so let's say I can use value. Value is uh, greater than, I don't know, 50. So everybody that added a product to cart with a value greater than 50 will be part of this audience. Maybe I want to uh, have a custom audience for people that added to cart products for, from a particular category. I will use category name and contains and uh, I will simply type my category name. I don't know anything. IPhones. So this is, this is uh, a custom audience for people that added to cart products from this from a category containing iPhone uh, there are many many uh, parameters we send to Facebook and you can use them all to create custom audience let me show you something rather interesting uh, traffic source for example I can say uh, Google so everybody that uh, I, 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 Okay. Everybody that came from Google and added something to cart will be part of this custom audience. Um, we also send uh, UTMs or URL tags to every uh, event. So if you use the URL tags with your ads, you can create specific audiences just for people coming for, from a particular ad. Maybe I'll do a different video about URL tags and uh, because it's very interesting. So. Uh, basically, this is the idea. If you want to target specific products, you can simply uh, select content name and uh, type the product name. And everybody that bought that added that product to cart will be part of this audience. So this is uh, how you can create <clears throat> very specific custom audiences. But <clears throat> let's dig a little bit more um, pixel your site has a, a an event called the signal event that fires for all sorts of uh, actions let me show you let me show it to you where you can find a signal event settings okay open the plugin and scroll and this is the signal event and there are various actions you can track with this event a lot of them i have all of them enabled you can disable some if you don't need them but now let's see the event okay so uh, i want to track for example everybody that clicked on a link to a website an external website for example this one okay I have a, a signal event with event action external click and uh, target URL pixel your site because that was the link opened by the uh, th that was the URL opened by the link so I can use this particular event to create a custom audience like this signal refine by target URL where is the target URL okay target URL pixel your site now this custom audience will um, include everybody that clicked on a link to pixel your site on my uh, demo website so 
it's pretty pretty useful if you have affiliate links for example and there are other stuff you can basically any 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 action that the signal event tracks you can you can use it to to create uh, this type of custom audiences i think it's it's very very powerful and uh, <laughs> you can you, you, you are free to do almost anything that you want. Now, of course, you can play with the retention for how long a, a person will be part of this uh, custom audience. Uh, you can add uh, other conditions and also and, and go like this. And you can further refine by aggregate value. This is a really interesting frequency. It's greater than two, so everybody that uh, fire at least two uh, events with these conditions and it, just go go uh, um, and play with custom audiences because it's very intuitive and you will easily understand how to use them. Uh, but you can ask, how do I know what event to use, what parameters to use? How how can I? Uh, find all this stuff. It's rather simple. Go to your website, make sure you have a Pixel Helper Chrome extension installed and just perform the action you want to track. And then check if Pixel Your Site already fires an event for that action. Chances are that it will. And uh, I think we track most things happening on a website. If there is no such event for uh, the action that you want to um, use for custom audiences. You can you can create your own event and go to pixel your site, go to events, and uh, add a new event. Use one of the triggers available and configure your event. For Facebook, you can select custom event if you want, or one of the standard events, and so on. Add parameters. I mean, uh, I, I will not explain how to configure events with Pixel Your Site. We, I think, we have another one, another video about this. If we don't have it, we will make one soon. But the idea is try to use um, the events already fired by the plugin. Uh, check them with Pixel Helper look for their parameters uh, select one the param one of the parameters that uh, are uh, useful for your custom audience and then just go here select the same event use parameters to uh, pinpoint exactly what people you want to be part of this audience and create the audience um, i will not complete this because uh, well, maybe i will why not so basically this will be 30 days is fine give it a name you can also uh, add a description and create audience now and uh, this is probably something you should do create a lookalike can there are various ways to create lookalikes but one of them is this one select the audience you want to be the the base for your lookalike and go here and create a lookalike now what is a lookalike a lookalike is a special type of audience that facebook automatically creates and um, they fill it with people similar to the ones from your uh, starting point from your um, initial custom audience so in my case facebook will try to find people that are somehow similar to those that clicked on that particular link i um, use for my custom audience of course uh, it, it doesn't make too much sense to create this exact custom uh, lookalike that i'm doing right here just to explain the process uh, the most valuable lookalike that you need is based on the purchase event maybe we are lucky and we can create the purchase event lookalike the custom audience just do a refresh 
sometimes you need to refresh the page otherwise uh, the data is quite old start again and uh, no I still don't have it it takes some time until uh, until it, 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 the data is updated probably half an hour or maybe more so make sure you, you have traffic or fire the events yourself and then wait a bit wait 20 30 maybe an hour um, and then you will see all the, the events that you need here so yeah this is the process now if you have if you have a, a, a an e-commerce website create custom audiences based on the purchase event and lookalikes for them these are the most important um, audiences you want to have uh, some customers or clients users ask how to create a, a particular custom audience for people that bought a specific product and it's very easy uh, as I showed uh, you to how to, to use the, the custom audience with the add to cart event basically you do the same with uh, purchase you go create a custom audience starting from the purchase event and then uh, you select the uh, content name parameter and you add the name of the product the best thing you can do is to go on your website do a transaction for the product that you want to use for the custom audience and check the purchase event parameters with pixel helper and you will see what to use there so uh, that's that's the, the the way you can use custom audiences and pixel events it's very flexible and you you are you have basically no limits when it comes to creativity and custom audiences just make sure you check your website with pixel helper and uh, use the right event and the right parameter this is everything you you need and with pixel your site you can do it easily because we already fire this single event tracking a lot a lot of actions automatically 